One of the steps you'll need to do to complete your month-end reconciliation for inventory and purchase order is to reconcile the purchases clearing account. The purchases clearing report is used to simplify month-end reconciliation of the purchases clearing account balance with open amounts on purchase orders. The purchases clearing account is a liability holding account that contains inventory received in receipt of goods entry without an invoice until the invoice is posted in receipt of invoice entry. The account is credited when the goods are received into inventory and debited when the invoice is received in receipt of invoice entry. So to reconcile, we'll run the purchases clearing report. You may need to run this a few times depending upon how your company is set up. The purchases clearing account is assigned to each product line in inventory management product line maintenance. So if you have multiple purchases clearing accounts, you would need to run this for each product line. You'll then run the GL trial balance to compare. And if the amounts match, you're in balance. Let's take a look. So the first thing we're going to do is run the purchases clearing report in purchase order on the period end menu. And we'll go ahead and run this report. Now we're looking at the last value at the report total. And in this situation, we can see that it's $8,889. Now I need to compare that value. There's only one purchases clearing account in this company with my general ledger trial balance. and bring in the purchases clearing account and preview. And I'm looking for the balance here. And we can see that the balance in the purchases clearing account is $8,809. So in this company, we are in balance. But there are instances where the purchases clearing account is out of balance after updating all of your inventory and purchase order transactions. This can happen if you've entered receipts in inventory management. There's actually a number of different reasons that the out of balance can occur. One of which is that inventory receipts are entered in inventory transaction entry. Remember, inventory receipts need to be entered into purchase order and the invoice needs to re be received into purchase order. However, the ordered quantity or unit cost could be changed after performing either receipt of goods entry or receipt of invoice entry, so that could cause a discrepancy. Somebody may have done a manual entry to the purchases clearing account, and that would cause a discrepancy. Another reason might be the receipt of goods register or the receipt of invoice register was updated to an incorrect general ledger period. So in order to help determine what's going on and help us solve the mystery, we want to run the general ledger detail report. Now, if we are out of balance, we run the general ledger detail report, and if it's due to a receipt transaction that was entered in inventory, we need to record that receipt in accounts payable. So let's take a look. Again, we're going to start by running the purchases clearing report. And looking at the value, we see it's $14,783.10. Now, let's compare that to General Ledger, because that's going to be our determinant. And pull in the Purchases Clearing Account. And we see that the amount in the Purchases Clearing Account is very different than what we saw on the Purchases Clearing Report. So the next thing we want to do is run the General Ledger Detail Report. And in looking at this report, we can see that this indeed matches the balance that we saw in the general ledger trial balance. But let's look here. We see that there was a purchases clearing receipt of goods done in inventory. Hmm, so that's that could be a challenge. Here we see that 14,000. So we've got this 171,000 that was entered into inventory, but it should have been done through purchase order. So now we need to fix it. 
And to do that, we're going to go into Accounts Payable and record an offsetting entry to clear purchases clearing and offset it with our accounts payable. All right, so now I don't want it to go to this GL account. Now, when the inventory was received, the proper posting accounts were probably posted to. It's just that it was received in the wrong module. So I'm going to offset this to the purchases clearing account. And now let's see what happens and transpires after we update our registers. So here we can see posting to the purchases clearing account. And we can see that offset that's going to be made to our purchases clearing and accounts payable. And we'll update to the daily transaction register. Now, when I go back to purchase order, there really should be no changes to the value on this report. This still represents the amount of inventory that's been received but not yet invoiced. However, when I now go to General Ledger and run the trial balance here, we now find that we've got that $14,783.10. So we've done our correction and we are now in balance.